Why do we need veterinary services? As the interaction between humans and animals increases around the world, the risk of disease incursion and spread among animals poses a threat to public health and safety. Veterinary services personnel, charged with protecting animal health and welfare, contribute towards our efforts to control and prevent these threats, like animal diseases, foodborne illnesses, antimicrobial resistance, and transmissible diseases between animals and humans. But veterinary services around the world are faced with their own challenges. Inadequate workforce. Lack of sufficient training and field experience among animal health personnel. Resistance to change in public services. Need to define the roles of the public and private sectors. Lack of reform in educational institutions. An inadequate regulation of veterinarians and veterinary paraprofessionals, including for ensuring gender equity. These challenges lead to workforces that are not fully prepared to meet our society's current demands. So what do we need to build effective veterinary services? The efficient veterinary service require an adequate number of trained personnel in different categories and skill levels. The good cooperation among all the stakeholders, VSB, veterinary authorities and private sectors, render the proper workforce assessment of personnel required in the countries. Staff or human resources are backbone of any organization. The right mix of people at the right place and at right time is the key for performance. The World Organization for Animal Health is leading the charge in strengthening national veterinary services around the world. Through its program for veterinary workforce development, WOA supports veterinary services by evaluating their workforce needs and developing appropriate staffing. Central to this is the conduct of veterinary workforce assessments which helps identify gaps in workforce requirements, competences, and skills which are essential to design appropriate training and development solution. Why are veterinary workforce assessments important? Animals have such an important role in almost every society worldwide, whether that's as a source of food or labor or companionship. And so veterinary workforce assessment is really important for making sure that we can safeguard the health and well-being of animal populations while still not sacrificing the health and well-being of everyone involved in their care. Understanding of required competencies and enabling environment necessary for performance are important considerations for developing and training the staff right. Identification of the skill requirements of the existing categories of veterinary paraprofessionals and training them accordingly would help build an efficient veterinary workforce. Through veterinary workforce assessment, WOA can support members to address identified needs using a toolbox of approaches through the performance of veterinary services pathway or PVS pathway cycle. With the ever-increasing need to protect animal health and public safety, the Veterinary Workforce Development Program will help strengthen national veterinary services around the world to thrive and adapt to whatever challenges we face in the future. As the RCN Veterinary Statutory Body Network, AVSBN, we definitely agree with World Organization for Animal Health that country communication is important on strengthening the veterinary service with actively collaboration among VSB, VEE, Veterinary Authorities, Veterinary and Veterinary Paraprofessional Association, and other competent authorities in accessing workforce needs and efficient capacity building for veterinarian and veterinary paraprofessional. To learn more about veterinary workforce development, visit our website at rr-asia.woa.org slash pvspathway.